Hey guys, it's me Glitch Games, and welcome back to my YouTube video. In today's YouTube video, we're going to be doing a plugin tutorial on the console spam fix plugin. Now, the console spam fix plugin is an amazing plugin for your server because although it might not look like much is going on right now, all sorts of plugins are giving off all sorts of messages in the console, and we'll show you that in just a second. So what this does is it actually um, it fixes console spam. If there's a certain plugin that is spamming your console out, you can actually remove that spam just by changing a few things from within the config. And it's actually quite an amazing plugin because it can actually make your server run smoother because when you've got all that console spam, your server is actually it's using up all of its resources to send out all of this console spam which depending on if you've got like depending on what it might be that could be hundreds of messages coming through every second now if you've got hundreds of messages coming through every second i recommend you go and check out what's wrong with your plugin because that's definitely not normal but in some cases it can be so this will actually really make your server performance much better and also of course make it easier to read the console because when you're getting the console flooded with all of this spam it's hard to find messages that you're actually looking for anyways guys let's get right into the config now guys jumping on to the actual console here you can see the bycraft is actually spamming up the console every time it checks if a player has um, purchased something and I don't want that to happen because when that's left on for a while it starts building up and building up and slowly you have your whole chat filled up now I've only had the server online I really started the server just then but I've only had the server online since the last restart for about five minutes and we've already got a full flood of bycraft messages so what you're gonna do when you download the plugin is you're gonna jump into the config and here you're gonna have like all the default stuff I haven't really changed anything other than hi hey YouTube but this is where you're gonna want to go to the message to hide filter and it's pretty well explained here in the config as well um, so what you put it here is you got to go into the console and see what your message is now what it does it'll it'll um, block all messages with something in it so if I just put a so if I change hey YouTube to a all messages that even just have a single a in them will not go through the console so if I wanted all bycraft messages like this to be blocked I would put bycraft there and that would block all the messages from bycraft but because I've also got successfully cubed player check I need to make another one so how we're gonna do that is we're gonna enter dash then put one of these and then you enter your message so that's gonna be this so I'm just gonna do successfully queued player queued purchase and then I'll do it like that and then everything that contains successfully queued purchase will be removed which is obviously all from bycraft now i don't actually want all bycraft messages to be removed because if someone purchases a rank or something from my server i don't want that to be removed so i'm actually going to go a little bit more specific and add the fetching all due players and the fetching all due players one found or yeah that one so we'll copy and paste this put it in here and we'll make an enter dash then there and then we'll get the other one and then because if there's two players online it'll say two found so I want that just to be a bracket so because sometimes there might be two or three found I want that just to be a bracket so that a number doesn't affect it but that'll be close enough and that will there that means that every single time these three messages they come through every five seconds they will no longer come through so if we hit save on the config and, and you see they're coming through every five seconds there's gonna be another one coming through any moment now there you go another one came through so what's gonna happen is I'm I've saved the config and then I'm gonna go in game and I'm actually gonna type out CSF reload and that's going to reload the config and what's going to happen now is we're no longer going to get that console spam so if we see the config has been reloaded and i'm just going to time lapse two minutes and i'll put a timer up on screen right here so you can see that's two minutes
Okay, guys, so it's been pretty much two minutes now. And as you can see, another message hasn't come through. And they used to come through like every 10, 10 or so seconds. So that's pretty cool. So if I actually type in chat here, I'm going to say, um, test one, two, three. That comes through in console also, test one, two, three, and when someone speaks. So say I want to filter, uh, this is just for an example, you probably wouldn't do this in reality. But if I want to filter that out, I can do that as well. So all you need to do, once again, it, it, anywhere, it could be anywhere in the console, you just go test one, two, three, you filter that out, you press save file, then you reload. And now, if I say, Test one, two, three again. It won't come through the console. As you can see, there's the reload and there's no test one, two, three. That was my earlier one, but no test one, two, three. Let's do it again. And now I'm getting flagged for spamming. And now if we go, as you can see, there's the matrix message for spamming, but no test one, two, three. So anything that you put into here, if you put A, then nothing with an A will come through. So obviously you're not going to put short things through. Try and put it as detailed as you possibly can. But as you can see, nothing with this in it is going to come through. So I'm going to take the test one, two, three out. And that's how I have my config for my server. And guys, if you're currently thinking about making your own Minecraft server, or maybe you are making your own Minecraft server, and that's how you stumbled upon my video, I have a series of other plugin tutorials on my channel, so make sure you smash the like button and press the bell notification, because I'm going to be uploading a little bit more often now. I had a bit of a break um, because of some stuff, but I'll be uploading a little bit more often now, uh, so hit the bell notification so you never miss a video. Um, there's going to be some really good and useful plugins coming out in the near future, guys. I've got some good videos planned out. And also, um, if you're thinking about starting a Minecraft server and you maybe are getting held back by the price of uh, hosting a server, um, then I do highly recommend checking out one of my recent videos, which was how to host a Minecraft server for absolutely free with the free MC Minecraft server hosting um, service and I'll put that in the card on the top. What is it? Right? Right hand of your screen um, Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed today's YouTube video. Make sure you smash the like button and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Bye